Hi there, this week's fitness tip is about body fat testing. This is a commonly asked question with new clients when starting a physical fitness program. There's many different ways to test for body fat. Today I'm just going to go into a little bit about how we do it here at Absolute Fitness. There's many different ways to test for it. Uh, many different trainers, many different gyms, many different healthcare professionals may use a different method. And I'll explain some of those different methods, maybe which ones are best, uh, better than others. And um, also tell you what body fat percentage means to starting a physical fitness program and also what percentage means on general health and physical fitness level. Understanding body fat percentage and measurement procedures, the first thing we need to go into um, is basically the different types of testing that we can do to uh, take someone's body fat. Most commonly, um, you'll see are the bioimpedance types of uh, devices that you can use to take body fat. Most commonly you see are, to the, to the left here, is the handheld system, which you'll see at a lot of gyms. A lot of trainers will use these. Uh, some healthcare professionals, doctors and such, will use these. But most commonly you'll see is the, to the right is the body fat uh, scale. You'll see these basically sold anywhere from Bed Bath & Beyond to Walmart or pretty much wherever you go these days. But uh, basically the bioimpedance method is sends an elect electrical pulse through the body, which is harmless. And the theory behind it is the pulse will move faster through your lean mass, everything minus your body fat, like your muscle tissue. Uh, and will, the pulse will actually move slower through your body fat and basically the resistance your body has to this electrical um, pulse is, has direct correlation to body fat percentage. Well, this is definitely not the most accurate way of measuring body fat, but for somebody that's going to be like a you know, starting a home physical fitness program or maybe starting a program where they don't have access to somebody to take a body fat uh, more accurate measure for them, this would be a great measure to start. Uh, for example, if you start a physical fitness program and you jump on your body fat scale and the scale reads you at 25%, and then uh, as you do your program a couple weeks later, it drops down to uh, 22%, then a few more weeks later, you know, the weight and the body fat percentage drops down to 20%, you obviously know you're making progress um, with your physical fitness program. But definitely not the most accurate way to measure body fat, but probably one of the more popular ways that you'll see people do it uh, these days. And by all means, there's nothing wrong with using this method for, a, for a, a starting measure. Next, we have probably the most accurate type of measurement, which is called hydrostatic weighing. This is something you will not see at pretty much any gym or um, any type of trainer will pretty much use this unless they're pretty much sports specific or a professional athletic trainer or into sports medicine. This is mostly stuff that you'll see down at colleges, um, uh, sports medicine universities, hospitals and such like this. Basically what they do is they put you in a cage like the subject here is and they'll submerge you into a tank of water up to your head basically up to your neck and they'll basically wait, take the uh, they'll actually weigh you while you're submerged. They'll see how much weight you've displaced from your actual weight to the weight while you're in the water. And basically, they're measuring your buoyancy, buoyancy to measure your body fat. This is, with, without a doubt, the most accurate way, one of the most accurate ways to do it, um, to take a body fat. This is something that generally uh, weekend warriors and like uh, fitness enthusiasts are just you know just people who just want to lose a few few pounds uh, that aren't necessarily professional athletes or serious athlete would not usually have an interest in doing so. But uh, for the people that do have interest in it, most colleges, sports medicine uh, facilities, um, and some hospitals will offer this. I think the fees range anywhere between twenty five and fifty dollars per test. But uh, like I said, most of your Weekend Warrior fitness enthusiasts would have no interest in doing this, but definitely probably the most accurate way of taking a body fat measurement. Next, we have the most common method that you'll see usually trainers will use, um, gyms will use, um, most fitness professionals, some medical professionals uh, like uh, doctors and such may use this, um, probably not as much in the healthcare realm, but this is the caliper test. And basically what you do is you pinch, a, um, there are different tests that you can use for caliper measurements. Uh, usually they range from anywhere between a three site uh, measurement to like a 12 site uh, pinch measurement. Um, basically the more uh, sites that you pinch, the more accurate that the body fat percentage uh, will become. Basically each site 
is usually uh, gender specific. Uh, the sites can range anywhere between your tr pinching the back of your arm, your tricep region to the side of your chest, the pectoral region to your abdominal, to your hip, to your thigh, to your lower back. Um, I pers personally use the Jackson Pollock 3 site formula. Um, it's not by any means the most accurate way of measuring body fat, but it's more accurate than most bioimpedance devices, um, especially for somebody that's just going to come in and wants a general body fat done for a physical fitness program or trying to lose weight. It, it works just fine. Um, but the more, like I said, the more sites that you'll pinch, uh, they range anywhere between uh, you know 9 to 12 sites um, in some, some cases. Uh, the more sites you pinch, the more accurate they become. Basically, like I said, you just pinch the body uh, each each site, and the caliper will measure each the thickness of the skin in millimeters. In Absolute Fitness, we use the Jackson Pollock three site procedure. Um, basically, um, what we do, depending upon your gender, um, they, they, the sites will vary. Uh, body fat measurement sites for male are the chest region, which is alongside the pectoral, right along the pectoral crest. Um, then you take a diagonal pinch there, and then you'll take an abdominal uh, pinch, which is just alongside of the belly button. It's a vertical pinch. And then you'll also measure with a caliper the front of the thigh, which is another vertical fold pinch. And for the women, you'll measure the triceps, which is the back of the arm, a uh, vertical pinch. You'll take a waist. Um, a waist pinch, which is a diagonal fold measurement uh, just along the iliac crest, which is basically above the bikini line and uh, alongside the hip bone. And then the same as the male measurement, you'll take a thigh uh, vertical measurement on the front of the thigh. Uh, once we take those three measurements, we'll add up the sum of those, those three measurements in millimeters. Um, so basically, if you have a 15 millimeter tricep measurement and then you have a 15 millimeter um, hip measurement and a 15 millimeter thigh measurement, your sum of those three those three uh, millimeter measurements that together be 45. Uh, depending upon what the, the sum of the measurement is and your gender and also your it's age, your age um, because the chart is age specific, it'll give you roughly an estimated body fat for the sum of those three measurements. Once we have the sum of the three measurements, um, the charts are age and gender specific. As you can see on the Left, far left-hand side of each chart has the age categories which you fall in, 19 to 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 34, etc., so forth and so forth. Um, and then, for example, like male, um, 19 to 24-year-old, the excellent rating, which is basically athletic, very athletic people, would be 11th or and under. Very good, 11.1 to 15%, 15.1 to 19% being the very good, or the good. The fair range would be 19.1 to 23%, and anything above 23% would be in the poor category. Generally, most people, male or female, fall in between the good and the fair category. As you note on the female chart, um, the percentages that correlate for each category, the excellent, very good, good, and so forth, are a little higher than the males. Generally, women uh, will hold more, have more body fat um, than males, so the uh, body fat percentages are higher um, for what correlates to what category they fall in. But as you can see on the charts, um, the age groups are the same, just the body fat percentages will change male to female, they are gender specific. As you can see, body fat is a very important part of any type of monitoring system for any physical fitness program. Uh, at Absolute Fitness, we like to do the body fat remeasurement every three to four weeks, just as a general um, measurement to make sure that our clients are getting where they need to be. Um, every trainer, every uh, fitness professional will be different. But uh, I hope you've learned a little bit about uh, body fat testing and procedures from the video. And until next time.